Hello everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back. Uh, today we're back in the kitchen. I thought that we would do another meal. It's really easy. Some of the prep work can take a little bit of time, uh, but it is really good. It is a uh, Filipino pancit. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's kind of like a um, chow mein, if you will, but instead it's using rice noodles. And so what I've got right now in my pan, let me show you, I've got some minced onion, garlic, soy sauce, a little bit of oil, and I've got some um, stir fry meat. I've used beef, and you could use pork or chicken, sorry. You could use pork or chicken, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cook that all together until it browns. I have about two, two and a quarter pounds of beef here. Um, I have a relatively large family. I have three children, and my um, husband loves pancit loves 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 it his um his auntie is is from the philippines so he grew up eating pancit so he has as i've learned how to do it he's like yep that tastes right no that doesn't taste right so um, i'm just gonna mix this here turn the heat up a little bit so we're not cooking here together forever um and i'm just gonna cook that until it browns so i did have before i started the video i did have all of my um, my vegetables cut up so we were saving some time here but while you're cooking this, uh, so like I said, I've got about probably four to anywhere from four to six cloves of garlic. Um, gar to me, garlic is one of those one of those vegetables that you just kind of measure with love. Kind of, you know, just the, not all garlic uh, cloves are are the same size. So sometimes you need a little bit more. Sometimes you need a bit, little bit less. But I crushed those um, and minced them. Quick trick. I hate peeling garlic. What you can do to peel it, you can take your, your garlic and put it in a small Tupperware container with a lid and just shake it and the skins will fall off. You don't have to sit there and peel garlic and peel garlic and peel garlic. Just do that, it saves you so much time. You'll still have to peel some of it, but at least you're not peeling all of it and getting annoyed. Either that or you can always just buy um, some premis, you know, the premis garlic that's in a jar and just measure out about how many um, about how many you'll need. So this is starting to brown really nice. Um, the, the recipe that I had found for it when I was trying to just find a basis of how to make this a while ago had only one tablespoon of soy sauce and that's not nearly enough. And it, it's so, again, soy sauce is one of those things, just like the garlic, where you're just gonna have to measure it with your taste buds, you really, really are. Um, my husband was telling me as the first time that I had cooked this, um, he's like, it doesn't, it doesn't look, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look, the noodles don't look brown enough. So I could be doing this a different way. I don't know if they um, actually fry the noodles, the rice noodles in the Philippines when they do this. I don't do that. Um, but the taste is just phenomenal. I've given it to some friends that are like, oh my gosh, are you serious? I'm going to go over here and get my noodles. All I use, here, I will show you. I have a large bowl here with my noodles. I just took, these are just some, um, this is Dynasty rice sticks. Um, there's a different brand that this at my grocery store, they were out, but this is the same thing. So I just open this up and I just put it in a bowl of cold water and I'm just letting it soak. That's all, I'm just letting it soak. So I did that first as I was letting that soak as I started my mise en place. Um, using a fancy French word there, mise en place is just like basically all your prep work, all your you're slicing and dicing of, of vegetables, me measuring out of ingredients, all of that stuff. So it's so it's a time saver when you are ready to cook. So um, yes, some of the prep work can take a, a, quite a bit of time, but in the end, you're not doing everything all the time and you're not spending hours and hours in the kitchen. So I do like to do that. And with your vegetables, as long as you don't have any raw meat with them, you can store them in the fridge. Like have, have them all cut up from the day before and throw them in. Um, a lot of people like to do, when they do pancit, they like to do like a multi-meat pancit. They like to do um, chicken and pork and shrimp and stuff like that. I um, like to stick with just one meat um, because not everybody in this household is a shrimp fan or something like that. I've done this with chicken and pork, beef. Everyone seems to love it. So I just used, um, like I said, what I did is I had um, about one medium to large size onion that I had, um, that I minced up. Um, as well as about four to six garlic cloves. Um, just 
maybe two, three tablespoons of, of um, vegetable oil. I just use the Crisco vegetable oil. Um, and maybe, well, it's, well, we started off, I think, with three or four tablespoons. Sorry, rocking a little bit, lost my balance. Three or four tablespoons of soy sauce. And I'm just heating that up. And I'm not going to drain anything. I know, like, with ground beef, you have to drain it. This is just stir-fry meat. You can use the stir-fry or um, stew meat and just and slice them. These came in really long strips, so I cut them to about an inch and a half long because they are going to shrink a little bit while they're cooking. And so I just wait until this is all nice and brown. It's not quite there yet. I still see some pink. And then after that, what I'm going to do is add my liquid. So what I've got, I've got about three cups of water with a, um, a bouillon. You can use the bouillon cube. I like to use this. This is the uh, better than bouillon. Um, it's a beef base. Since I'm using beef, I like to use this one. If I, I have a vegetable one, I have a chicken one. Um, so it just kind of depends on, on what I'm cooking. And that'll be my bouillon cube. And it's really nice and handy. It has on the lid, it has a conversion. It says one teaspoon of better than bouillon equals one bouillon cube or equals one eight ounce can of broth of that flavor. So you have, you have your options of what you would like to do. So, so you can just use water in a bouillon cube, water or this bouillon base, or just an eight ounce can um, of, of beef broth, if you'd like. Totally, totally your choice, your flavor preference. I'm gonna turn the heat up on this. I have this, I have this, I can't talk today. I was up really early for work. So I have a very large pan. You can use a wok for this. You can also make this in smaller batches. I've never known how to cook small. Drives my husband crazy. Um, but at least with this, there's plenty of plenty of leftovers and it keeps really well for days. And because it's mostly vegetables and rice noodles, again, it keeps really well, but it also, um, it kind of is one of those things that just gets better with time. So like I said, it's about 2, 2.30 in the afternoon right now, and I'm cooking this for dinner tonight. Because it's such a large batch, it does take more time. But I also, um, I've t you know, as I've cooked this multiple times with different vegetables and with different, um, uh, different meats and just the different amounts of liquid, as I've tested it, it just, it varies. So this is not your, okay, I'm gonna have dinner ready in a half an hour kind of thing. It's not hard. But uh, some, like I said, some of the prep work and depending on how much you're making can definitely make a difference. Um, you know, just if you're going to cook something, for, you know, frozen versus thawed, it's going to take a little bit longer. Does that make sense? So I've got this and this does ha have a good amount of liquid in it just from the onions and the garlic and the meat itself and the oil and the soy sauce, just enough. And you can always add a little bit more water and um, bouillon if you need to uh, again depending on how large of a batch that you're making the very first time i made this it my pan was overflowing this is this skillet is pretty big it's i mean i'm i'm five foot seven this this pan is literally this big it's i use it for my wok sad thing is, is i don't have a lid for it i got it for like twenty dollars at costco i love those costco buys um i got it several years ago i think my oldest daughter was was still a baby. So I've had this pan for over 10 years, so I'm sure. Maybe it's still 20 bucks at Costco, you never know. So this is nice and brown. Let me show you kind of what it should look like. Sorry, I'm gonna move you again. This is what it should look like. It doesn't really look all that great right now because of the, uh, oops, sorry, because of the, the beef and it's just kind of, it's kind of softened, it's softened all of the vegetables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got some um, carrots that I julienned. I just used my mandolin. If you don't have that, you can just cut them up into matchsticks or you can cut them into coins, any, whatever you want to do. And I also have some cabbage. Those are just some very, very basics uh, for poncet that I found. Again, you can add lots of different vegetables. I have some green onion also that I'm going to add. So I've just got my, my measuring cup. This is the this brown lump is my... Uh, bouillon the rest of my bouillon base that hasn't quite dissolved so i'm just going to give that a stir break that up a little bit so i don't have a big old clump here in my pan so i'm going to add my liquid just in there 
give that a, ow, woo, hot, 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 hot. Give that a stir. And then partial metal handle on my gas stove and I almost burnt my hand. All right. Just give that a good stir. And all that liquid. And all of this liquid that's in here. So it's going to look pretty soupy. This liquid will all absorb um, with the noodles. So we're just going to add that. And then, and again, you can add depending on how big of a batch you're making. I just, all I used, I used half, um, half of a head of cabbage and about five medium carrots. And again, your pan's going to get more full and you can do this in smaller batches if you want which is totally easier um, so you don't get overwhelmed because the first time you make this, it's gonna, it's gonna be a lot. So if you wanna use, if you don't have that large of a family, you can just use maybe a pound of meat um, and you can cut, you know, cut the amount in half. So if you only have like a regular size skillet or if you have a, if you have a really big wok, then go ahead. Like I said, it keeps really, really well. And the vegetables add this really nice color. That is a big hunk of cabbage that I need to Cut smaller because that does not want to break up. Sorry, I'm going to move my camera again and kind of show you what it looks like. Maybe I can turn everything around. Sorry, you're getting a nice view of my house today. So this is what that's going to look like. And we just, we don't want to overcook the vegetables. You still want them to be kind of tender crisp, if that makes sense. So we just want to get those cooking just for a couple of minutes before we add the noodles. Mm -hmm. And at this point, you can also add in your um, some more soy sauce if you would like. If you know that you like a lot of soy sauce, you can always, always, always add more. Excuse me, sometimes what I've done is I add it afterwards. So at this point, while the noodles are just kind of cooking, I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit so I'm not hopefully scalding anything. Just give that a stir. Your pan will get very full very quickly with the noodles move my my garbage bowl out of the way and i'm just going to dump all the water out from these rice noodles and i i used two packages so what you can do these rice noodles are very very long what i like to do is break them up so they're about this long maybe about six inches or so you can leave them let me show you what i'm talking about they're pretty long when they're by themselves. So I do like to, to cut them. You don't have to, Some they will break in the pan on their own. Sometimes I just like to give them a little bit of help. Um, see, these are they're very long. This part will get very, I'm already making a mess on the floor. This part will get very, very messy uh, very quickly. So it's totally your choice to break up your noodles if you want. Um, sometimes I'll just take my, my clean kitchen shears and just chop them up, really rough chop with my scissors because I found that if I, if I don't cut them or tear them, that it can make it um, harder to mix in the, in the pan. But my scissors broke a couple of days ago. I need to, my son was using them. He thought it would be fun to, those are the only scissors that he knows of in the house. He's eight. He thought it'd be a good idea to go outside with them and help his dad break down cardboard boxes and he broke the handle on my scissors, so. But considering I've had those scissors since before he was born, I think it's probably okay to, to get a new pair. What do you think? So I'm just tearing these noodles by hand a little bit while I'm waiting um, for the vegetables to cook a little bit. If you hear dogs barking, it's my, my German Shepherds. They like to alert me when someone comes home and my teenager should be walking in the door here soon. So if you hear extra noise, that's her too. So I've got this pretty decently. Shh, shh, shh. Quiet. I've got that pretty good. So you're gonna get a lot of noodles all over your hands. Just give that a quick rinse. And dry my hands off and check the, check this. Okay, that's been a couple of minutes, so now I'm just gonna add my noodles. I'm 
add my noodles and I'm gonna give it a stir. Now again, see this is where the pan gets very, very full very quickly, let me show you. This is where the pan gets very full, so you really have to be careful. You could use tongs if you want, which I might switch to here in a second, to just, um, goodness, my hand just keeps getting in the way of that. Um, so you could just use tongs to mix this up if you want. And at this point, this is where you can add the extra soy sauce if you don't think that the um, noodles are the right color. And what you want to do from this point, after you have everything mixed together, is just turn the heat down and basically simmer it until um, all of the liquid is absorbed. And you can eat this. Um, sorry, I was adding more soy sauce. And you can eat this right away, hot from the pan. I like to actually let mine cool down a little bit. It kind of lets the meat and everything else kind of marry together and relax. Um, that's just, I found, you, you can't eat it right away. It's totally your preference. I just, that's my personal preference. It just, I don't know, it just didn't taste as good. I like it when it's more room temperature um, rather, than, rather than piping hot. That's one of the great things about Ponce. It's really great, it's very weird. It's really good reheated, but I don't like it fresh out of the pan. I don't know why, but it does taste, it's, it's really, really good. And it's just, it's one of my favorites. It's one of my, my husband's favorites as well. And uh, next, I have to learn, learn how to, or at least not learn, but take the time to actually make some lumpia, which is um, an egg roll or spring roll, but it's Filipino style and they're so good. Again, those are just more time consuming. It's definitely a labor of love. So I've got this all mixed together and I'm just gonna let it simmer so all of the liquid is absorbed and clean up any of my mess that I have laying around the kitchen because I've got a decent one. And that's it, you guys. It's, it's really, really good. It's, it's got a lot of vegetables. This is something that you guys can personalize if you want. If you don't like cabbage, don't use it. Um, you want bell peppers, you can add that. You want some green onion, I have to add that in right here really quick. Whatever vegetables you want, you can, you can add it to it. And it's just, it's, it's personal preference. The only real seasoning that you have is the soy sauce. So it's adding a little bit of salt, which is, so the salt brings out the flavor in the vegetables and in the meat and everything else. And that's it, you guys. It's really good. You know, it's got, you know, you've got your, your grains from the rice. You've got all your vegetables. If you don't want to use meat, you don't even have to use meat. If you're, you know, if you're vegetarian, totally go ahead, leave the meat out. It's wonderful. It's a great meal all in one pan. You don't have to do anything else. There's my daughter creeping in, <laughs> trying to get an after school snack. But that's it, you guys. It's a great meal. I love it. My family loves it. And I think you guys really will too. Until next time. Bye.